the only time that relaxing and recharging truly works is when you don't feel guilty about it, is when you accept it and you enjoy it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, today we're going to be doing our updated shower slash hygiene routine. So let's get into it. So to start, I'm going to be using this brightening soap that I got off of Amazon. I'll be linking it for you guys down below if you're interested. I am trying to get nice, clear, and bright skin for the summer. I don't know about you, okay? We want to make sure our skin is looking nice and healthy. That also starts with the inside out as well. Make sure that you're drinking your water so that you can stay hydrated and also making sure that your skin stays healthy. I'm just letting this sit on my face for about two minutes and then I'm going to wash my face off to dry it. I'm going to use a paper towel over versus a washcloth is very beneficial to use like a paper towel because you don't have all of that bacteria from a face towel so that's important I'm also going to dermaplan my face today. I know this is a very controversial thing. A lot of people do not like to dermaplan. Um, and I'm no esthetician, okay? I just do what works for me. So if this doesn't work for you, of course, leave this out of your routines. And if it does, add it and just let me know how you like it um, down below in the comment section. But this is what I'm doing right now. I like to just go in with some type of oil, some type of face oil on my face before dermaplaning. This just helps for, you know, a smooth, a shave so let me know your thoughts in the comment section now it's time to go in with my next cleanser this cleanser is also one of my favorites it is the kills cleanser i'll link it for you guys because the sephora sale is also right around the corner so you might want to pick this up girl if you're looking for a discount highly recommend this cleanser if you're looking for something that's gentle and if you do have combination skin it works as well um so i'm just working that into my skin and then i'm just going to rinse it off with some nice warm water and then after that again we're going to go in with a paper towel i'm also going to do my eye treatments as well this is a part of my skincare routine so if you want a in-depth video i can definitely do that for you guys so let me know in the comment section if you want a skincare routine also want to mention if you are going to dermaplan your face make sure to use some type of healing ointment this is what i use on my face because you don't want any type of like small fine bumps after the fact so you want to restore that moisture back into the skin next up let's get into our oral care i just go in with the basics just to brush my teeth do my flossing and also do tongue scraping these are the products that i use again they'll be linked in the description box if you want to purchase however um, this is just some of the few things that I like to do. I also like to do oil pulling um, at least once a day. It's best to do it twice a day. Um, well, that's where I found the best results when I do it twice a day. So um, just try that and add that into your routines if you are looking for something new. As you can see, we're getting into the shower, but before I take my shower, I like to go in with a dry brush. You wanna just take small strokes going upward towards your heart um, all over your body. So that's what I like to do before um, getting into the shower. It's so many benefits to dry brushing, like lymphatic drainage and many, many more. And then I'm also going in with a little bit of nair on my arms because yeah, girl, I don't like hair on my arms. I'm sorry, I've, I just can't. But just keep in mind that nair is a bit harsh if you do have sensitive skin. So yeah, next up, I'm going into the shower, starting off with the Dr. Bronner's. I've been double cleansing a lot these days, especially being that it's getting warmer outside. I just, you just can't just go in with one body wash. I have to double cleanse first. Um, so I'm starting off with the Dr. Bronner's. I know this is also controversial. A lot of people don't like to use this, but this is just what I like to use. It just makes me feel extra fresh. Hopefully, 
so now it's time for our body scrub today i'm going to be using the tree hut but i love so many different ones like the way body scrub and then also the being freshy i think that's what you call it it's in target but i'll link all of the different alternatives because tree hut can be a little bit harsh but i do like it to get rid of that dead skin especially if i haven't scrubbed in a while so i'm going to do that first and then i'm going to go in and shave Now this product, I don't know if it's new, but I did see it in Target the other day when I went to pick up some items. And this, you guys, run, don't walk, okay? It's so good, it smells amazing. Um, I think I'll be including this in my shaving routines from here on out. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this. Um, so I'm just using this to shave and it's just gonna give me a closer shave. I like to use a shaving oil versus a shaving cream. Moisturize. This is my favorite part of my shower routine, but I'm going in with the BHA body lotion first. I do have KP on my arms, so I go in with this first and then I'm going to go in with the body oil. This is the body oil that I'm using today. This is the Vaseline body oil, following up with the EOS body lotion. These two together, chef's kiss. Okay, try it out. Thank me later. <music> Nico de Gallo. I'm going in with the Dove Vitamin Care. Highly recommend. Following up with the Prada Paradox perfume. A uh, chef's kiss. Like this is this is it. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed my updated hygiene routine. If you did, don't forget to comment below. I have more videos in store for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.